Welcome, boys and girls, to an episode of PA and Phonics Fun. I'm your host, Miss Katrina, and this is your teacher, Miss Candy. Before we begin our lesson today, you will need a few things a pencil, paper, and some small objects to move around, like pennies, cereal, or buttons. Have fun! Thanks, Miss Katrina. Hi, boys and girls. Today we're going to warm up by listening for words with the ah sound, like in the word apple. Every time you hear a word with the ah sound, I want you to pretend that you're taking a bite of an apple, like this. I'll do the first one for you. Hat, hat, <sighs> at, has ah in the middle. So I'm going to bite my apple. Now you do it with me. Sam, Sam. That's right, Sam has an ah in the middle like apple. Sit, sit. No apple this time, sit has an i. Cap, cap. If you hear an ah in the word cap, Take a bite of your apple. Cap has an ah in the middle. Great job. Mug, mug. If you hear an ah, take a bite of your apple. Mug. No ah in mug. Mug has an ah uh sound. Pot, pot. No apple. There's no ah in pot. Let's try another one. Ran. Ran. That's right. You should have taken a bite of your apple. Ran has an ah in the middle. Last one. Listen. Bag. Bag. If you hear an ah, take a bite of your apple. Bag. That's right. Bag has an ah in the middle. Great job, boys and girls. Now, instead of listening for ah, I want you to listen for words with the uh sound. When you hear a word with the uh sound, I want you to stand up. If you don't hear a word with the uh sound, stay seated. <clears throat> Here we go. Ready? I'll do the first one for you. Bet. Bet. Bet does not have an uh sound, so you would stay seated. That's right. Your turn. But, b, uh, t. If you hear an uh, stand up. Did you stand? Great job. But has an uh, so we'll stand up. Let's try another one. Sit back down. Mug. M, ug. If you hear an uh in mug, stand up. That's it. You stood up for mug because you heard the uh sound in mug. Super. Sit back down. Lot. If you hear an uh in lot, stand up. Lot. You should have stayed seated. Lot has an ah, uh, not an uh. Let's try another one. Fuss. If you hear an uh in fuss, I want you to stand up. Fuss. You got it. Fuss has an uh sound in the middle. Last one. Fin. Fin. You should have stayed seated. Fin has an i, not an uh. Way to go, boys and girls. All right, now that you're seated again, I want to show you the letter U that makes the uh sound that we're going to work with today. Capital or uppercase U and lowercase U. These words begin with an uh sound like umbrella and umpire. These words have an uh in the medial position or middle of the word. Say the words with me. Truck, thumb, sun, 
bug, duck, bus, plum, cup, and drum all have an ah uh sound. Now, remember that paper Miss Katrina said you'll need? I want you to get your paper and a pencil, and you're going to make a letter U card, just like mine. Let me show you how to write a lowercase u on your paper. Make a u on your paper now, just like that. When you're ready, I want you to hold it up so that I can see it. That's it. It looks like you're ready. Now that you have a lowercase u on your paper, you're going to use it for our next game. I'm going to say some nonsense or silly words. And if you hear the uh sound, I want you to hold up your paper with the letter U like this. If you don't hear the uh sound, keep it in your lap. I'll do the first one for you. Remember, these are silly or nonsense words. The first one is ug, ug, say ug. Uh, I hear an uh in that silly word. So I'm going to hold up my letter U. All right, now you do it with me. Paper's down. App. Say app. Do you hear an uh in that silly word? App. Nope. Just an ah. Next one. Ut. Say ut. Great. You did hear an uh in ut. So you should have held up your U. Papers down. Op. Say op. If you hear an uh, hold up the letter U. Op. Not this time. We only heard an ah uh in op. Now let's try some trickier words. Remember, these are silly or nonsense words. Mip. Say mip. Did you hear an uh in mip? Me neither. I heard an i. So keep your u down. Lum. Say lum. If you hear an uh in lum, hold up the letter u. Lum. You got it. Lum has an uh in the middle. Last one. Rup. Say rup. Great. Rup does have the uh or letter u in the middle. That was awesome, boys and girls. Now, let's put these sounds and letters together and let's blend them to make words. I'll do the first few for you. There are two ways that we can blend these sounds to make a word. P, a, uh, p, pup, or we can take the first two sounds and put them together to make it a little easier to blend, like this. P, a, uh, pup, pup. Let me show you another one. B, a, uh, bus, bus. Try it with me this time. U, a, uh, lug, lug. That's great. Try another one with me. B, a uh, bun, bun. Perfect. A uh, fun, fun. A uh, run, run. B a uh, bud, bud. B a uh, bug. Bug. A uh, sun, sun. Now it's your turn to try. You read and I'll echo. Remember, say the sounds when my finger moves. Your turn. Pup. Bus. Lug.
bun. Fun. Run. Bud. Bug. Last one. Sun. Way to read, boys and girls. Now that we've read some words with the uh sound, let's make some words that have uh in the middle. I want you to say the sounds with me as I move my hand. I'll do the first one for you. F uh, fun, fun. What's the word? That's right, fun. Now you read with me. Say the sounds as I move my hand. S, uh, sun, sun. Read with me. R, uh, run, run. Perfect. Now let's change the ending sound. Your turn to read. Remember, say the sounds as I move my hand. Mum. Some. Bum. That was perfect. Now, I want you to get your paper and your pencil with the letter U on it. And we're going to practice writing some words with the uh sound spelled with the letter U. I'll give you just a minute to get your paper and pencil. All right, I'll say the word, you'll say it back to me, and then you're gonna write your word on your paper, like this. I'll do the first one for you, mum. A mum is a type of flower, mum. Let's say the sounds in mum. Mm, uh, mm, mum. Now I'm going to write mum. Mm, uh, mm, mum. M U M, mum. Get your pencil and do the next one with me. The word is bug. Say the word. A little red bug sat on the leaf. Bug. Let's say the sounds in bug. B, a, g, bug. Now with your pencil, I want you to write the word bug on your paper. Do it now. Look at my paper and see if yours matches mine. Bug. You should have written b a g bug. B u g bug. Make sure your paper matches my paper. If it doesn't, fix it now. All right, let's try another one. The next word is fun. The fair is fun. Fun, say the word. Fun, let's say the sounds in fun before we write. F-u-n, uh, fun. Now with your pencil, write the word fun on your paper. Do it now. You should have written fun, F-U-N, fun. Look 
look at your paper and make sure it matches mine. If it doesn't, fix it now. Perfect. Let's try another one. The next word is cut. Say the word. He cut the paper with scissors. Cut. Let's say the sounds in cut before we write. K. Uh, t. Cut. Now with your pencil, I want you to write the word cut on your paper. You should have written k. Uh, C U T cut. Look at your paper and make sure it matches mine. If it doesn't, fix it now. Cut. Last one. Hug. I gave my mom a hug goodbye. Hug. Say the word. Now let's say the sounds in hug. H ug. Hug. With your pencil, write the word hug on your paper. Hug. You should have written hug. H -u -g, H-U-G. Hug. Look at your paper and make sure it matches mine. If it doesn't, fix it now. Awesome work, boys and girls. And now it's story time. Before we read our story, Russ and Muff, we want to find all the words with the uh sound spelled with the letter U. Let's see if we can do that together. When we find a word with the uh sound, we'll read it out loud together. The title of our story is Russ and Muff. Let's go through and read the words with the uh sound now. Read with me. Russ. Cub. Tub. Muff. Russ. Muff. Hum. Tub. Muff. Russ. Tub, muff, cup, cup, nut, russ, muff, nut, tug, cup, butt, cup, nut, Fuss. Great work. Now we're going to read the story together. While we're reading, remember, when you see an end mark or period, that means we're going to stop for just a few seconds. And when you see quotation marks, that means that someone in the story is talking. All right, let's read out loud together. Read with me while I track. Russ and Muff. Russ is a cub. He was in the tub with Muff. Russ and Muff like to hum in the tub. Muff and Russ got out of the tub. Muff got a cup. The cup had a nut in it. Russ and Muff want the nut. They tug the cup. But Mom got the cup and the nut. Mom said, do not fuss. Great reading. Now, before you read, I want you to get an adult or an older brother or sister and I want them to listen to you read this time. I want you to try to get as many words right as you can. And remember, when you see a period, 
I want you to stop for just a few seconds. And when you see the quotation marks, remember, that means someone in the story is talking. In this story, mom is talking. All right, do you have your adult or your brother or sister? Great. I want you to read the story out loud to them now. I'll track for you while you read out loud. Here we go. <clears throat> your turn to read. Well, how'd you do? I bet you did great. Thank you for learning about the letter U with me today and the uh sound. Good reading, boys and girls. Thank you, Miss Candy. And thank you, boys and girls, for participating in the lesson today. All rights and credits for today's lesson belong to the West Virginia Department of Education. We would like to thank them for publicly sharing these valuable resource materials. Bye.